graduation time. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how we do uh, our way of uh, New England clam boil. Um, in that pot, which is pretty big, I got three onions, uh, probably about palmfuls of rock salt, and about a half a cup of olive oil, regular plain boiling water. I put the potatoes in cheesecloth bags, which I've already got that set. And I want to show you how I uh, set in the, uh, the rest of the ingredients. And then we'll show you the end result. Okay. <clears throat> we have the potatoes in. Um, Yukon Golds is what I use. They're the first ones to go in. Take the longest to boil um, with the onion. And I just want to get that water giving getting that nice oniony salty and briny flavor to it and now we get some fresh steamer clams um, these are indigenous to our area too but they leave them as uh, main steamers but they are locally caught here in the wild so I just throw them in a cheesecloth bag and we dip them in I like the bags Oops, sorry for the steam up I like the bags because you don't have to root around later with a spoon trying to get dig everything out of the pan, the, out of the pot. When you're done, you just hook the bag and you just pull it back up and you, uh, you just place them. Last bag. I like to soak them the night before I take water and I add a little bit of just white flour to it and what happens is clams will actually spit out the sand and start eating the flour because I guess it's sweet I don't know what the whole basis of it is but you, they do spit out the sand and it gets them rid of sand and it cleans them up real nice and now we have chorizo which is chorizo which is a spiced Portuguese sausage um, I got them in little links like this um, you can use like spicy Italian sausage if you don't care for this but uh, since this is like the south coast of Massachusetts and this is a, there's a big pro Portuguese presence here, uh, big Portuguese culture, we tend to use this. So those go in, that's chorizo, chorizo. You can get the mild or the spicy, these are the mild. Um, and then just regular sausage, breakfast sausage, those go in. And last but not least at the top of the pot, we put in some just regular hot dogs. Um, it could be chicken, beef, pork, whatever you want. Uh, these are I, just, I think these are uh, chicken or chicken and pork. I don't know. This just a regular plain old Jane hot dog. Those go in on the top because they take the least amount of time to boil. And uh, we bump up the flame a little bit. And in about 15 minutes, we're gonna have ourselves a nice clam boil. All right, got a little addendum here. Uh, one of the ingredients that I forgot to add in uh, all film, I'll add, um, I do it now. It's just a can of beer. Use whatever beer. I got Bud Light on hand, so that's what I'm gonna use. So we want those clams all nice and happy. Clams are dead. And they are now, but they're happy. All right. So that was the addendum. Put in a can of beer, a bottle of beer. And, uh, oh, wow, I can smell it already. It smells good. All right, see you when we're plating it. Anybody wants anything? I'm waiting for some sauce. Yeah, the sausage, cherries, hot dogs, some corn, the clams, and the golden potatoes. And everybody seems happy. And I look stupid, but I don't care. New England, New England. Clam boil. <laughs> Alamont. AKA Fats the Cat.